All right, so here we have another video, uh, word problems involving rectangles. Uh, these are the three examples I'll be working. Uh, each example will have its own video. Uh, this, uh, this video is the third example, so check the other two out if you need to. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have a rectangular swimming pool measures 40 feet by 60 feet and is surrounded by a path of uniform width around the four edges. The perimeter of the pool and the surrounding path is 248 feet. Determine the width of the path. All right. So let's look and see what we've got. So let's draw a picture. So there's a rectangle and we've got a path going around the rectangle. All right. And I know it doesn't look like it, but this width here is the same all the way around. And yes, that is a rectangle. All right. So this is 40 feet. So it's 40 by 60. And then we'll call this, well, it doesn't really matter, but since this looks longer, we'll call that 60 and this is 40. If you call this 60 and this 40, you'll get the same answer. All right. So what we've got to do is we've got to find the width of this path. We want to know the distance from here to here, and we'll call that x. See, all these distances here or X. Okay. Well, <clears throat> they give us the perimeter of the path going around the pool. And this entire distance here, if we add up all of this, we'll have 248 feet. So we need this distance here which this distance would be what? 2x plus 60. Now do you see how we get that? Well, if this is 60, okay, plus x, plus this x, then x plus x is 2x plus 60. So there's that width there. And then this would be the same this distance here would be 40 plus x plus x. Well, x plus x is 2x, so this would be 2x plus 40. All right. <clears throat> and then also, this would be 2x plus 40, and this would be 2x plus 60. Okay. Well, we know the perimeter of a rectangle is perimeter is twice the length plus twice the width. Okay, and I've shown in the other videos, but in case you haven't watched the other ones, I'll show you again here. To get the perimeter, we add all four sides up. So we got this length plus this width plus this length plus this width. And then if we combine like terms, L plus L is 2L, W plus W is 2W. And there's your formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. All right. So all we have to do now is plug all this in. This, we'll call this the length, we'll call this the width. Okay. So this value here, we're going to put in for L, okay, and this value here, we're going to put in for W. All right, so I've got the perimeter, okay, is twice the length, which is 2x plus 60, Whoop. 2x plus 60, plus twice the width, and the width is 2x plus 40. 
Now, what does it say the perimeter is? The perimeter is 248 feet. So we'll change this to 248 feet. And now all we do is solve this for x, and that'll give us the width of the path. So I've got 248 plus 4x plus 120 plus 4x plus 80. Okay, all I did, I did the distributive property here and here. Okay, so that's going to give me 248. Nope, I'm sorry, that should be an equal sign is equal to combine like terms so that's 8x plus what is that uh, 200 and then I'm gonna subtract 200 to both sides and so that is going to be 48 equals 8x and then we will divide both sides by 8 And so now I get x is equal to 6. So x is equal to 6 feet. And that's what they wanted to know. The width of the path is 6 feet. Okay. So I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.